There we go. All right. Hey guys. Um. Yes. Yeah, so no stream. No stream. This is AWO Air Warrior bringing you a video with my good friend Brian Braille. Um, What's up? Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be just a video, right? As I said, I think if you listen to my past streams and past videos, I warned you guys about this. Um, on this video, we're gonna talk about peacemaking. We're only halfway through the season. Episode five is this Thursday, but we're only halfway, as I said. And well, episode four wasn't really didn't develop what like, the main what the main story is of uh, mm -hmm. for the first three episodes. It had a little bit to do with the first three episodes, but mainly episode four is more about Chris's um, hit story with his father in his life. That's mostly what episode four is, but. Still, this is what is leading into what we think, what Brian Brill gave, um, said to me on the first review stream I did for Peacemaker, episode one to three, that's two, about a week and a half ago in his theories. And we're gonna get, and he's gonna discuss a theory uh, more in this video because I went to Wikipedia on Saturday or Sunday. I think one of those days he came on. I think a Saturday he came on later than usual. Yeah. Um, because I was reading about the history of um, Peacemaker, and it does have connections with Blue Beetle in the Reach, and that's what my topic's gonna be out. The, the, the Peacemaker theories of Blind and Braille, Blue Beetle in the Reach, and how they are possibly connected. Because I started to believe that once I saw it on Wikipedia, I started to believe there's a connection there, and how Peacemaker is gonna lead into the Blue Beetle movie, which is gonna be theater, a theatrical release, not a mm -hmm. HBO Max like it was scheduled. I don't think Peacemaker will be in the film because I think Blue Beetle will most likely be PG-13 unless they want to water down Peacemaker or Blue Beetle will end up being rated R, which, yeah, it's not happening. Not, not happening, happening, yeah. And so, yeah, with that, let's go without Blind Bro. Okay, yeah, go ahead and explain your theory. So, basically, for those that uh, don't know, uh, in the show... Um, there are the butterflies and they're sort of kept a big mystery in the show so far but they have a lot of qualities that remind me of the reach so here's a uh, I guess a wiki on DC uh, database um, so basically the reach are the sort of alien race that you know they're kind of bug-like creatures and they are conquerors right so they go around traveling to different planets in the universe trying to conquer planets right so and that is very similar to what the butterflies are right now they are this sort of bug-like creature going around the galaxy or well going to earth uh and sort of doing an alien invasion right now obviously that there's a lot of characters in dc comics that do alien invasions right yeah so where is this you know why is this theory sort of catching on right because i did see a lot of people mentioning it too um yes. uh so you know it is something that a lot of dc comics readers have noticed right um so well i think it was in you could correct me if i'm wrong but episode two at the end of episode two um there is a device that a uh, peacemaker finds that actually resembles a scarab, right? Yes. Yep. And so a scarab is basically well, it's this. Episode two. That's correct. Yes, episode two. So a scarab is sort of this device that um, you know the Reach uses, and obviously that's what Blee, uh, Blue Beetle uses as well, right? So it's yeah. sort of like a exoskeleton Iron Man sort of device which creates uh, different weapons and stuff that's kind of like the most simplistic way of explaining it and if you've seen uh i think it's young justice they were they showed us different blue beetles you know there's like a green and uh blue beetle and obviously the different um uh, uh what, what would you call it different races or um i'm, I'm totally blanking on the word uh, like species, I guess, of the Blue Beetle, of the Reach, right? So, um, if you're familiar with Young Justice, you might have seen them uh, in there, but they all wear scarabs, right? Yes. So, you know, it is it is possible that this device that Peacemaker had is a scarab. It does look like a scarab, 
Um, it obviously transforms very similar to a scarab. And quite honestly, there's not really a lot of devices in DC Comics that, you know, kind of look and operate the way it did in uh, Episode 2. Now, obviously, it could be an original creation, but as we know, James Gunn doesn't really do that often. He usually no. grounds his work in previously established stuff, but he changes it around to fit, you know, the movie or television medium, right? Mm -hmm. So I really doubt this is a an original character just because it's James Gunn, right? So obviously now that we sort of established you know, what we think, what are the sort of evidence in the show for this theory. So obviously the big evidence, as Aaron has mentioned, there is a connection between Blue Beetle and Peacemaker. So the first connection is they are Charlton comics characters, right? So DC didn't originally create these characters. They bought another comic company. And Blue Beetle and Peacemaker were the sort of figureheads of those characters. Or, sorry, a uh, comic uh, company, right? Yes. So, that's also, you know, something to consider. Because in the show, we've seen another Charlton comic character, which is Judo Master. Uh, which is a very obscure character. Uh, I don't think he has any sort of connection right now in the DC Comics. Um but again, it kind of shows that James Gunn is familiar with that history and he's playing up that history, right? So um, now the other one uh, I will give, which is maybe a reach on my part, um, because again, I haven't really seen anyone talking about this, but the Peacemaker character is a mantle character, right? Yeah. Which I find very interesting because that's not how he was in the comics, right? Um, the show establishes his that... His father's dead in the comics. Yes, yes. And he's right. haunted by his ghost. Mm hmm Yeah. Uh, so, you know, that's not... The sh the relationship in the show is not in the comics. Yes. Right? And it is very odd to me that... And his father's he... not the white dragon either in the comics. Yes, yes. That's also should be mentioned. Um, so... It, it is very interesting that James Gunn made him a sort of legacy type of character. Maybe it just works better for the arc, but given the fact that Blue Beetle is one of the most, I guess, famous or kind of first legacy character he's had, you know, there was, um, I'm forgetting his name, but Dan uh, something, and then you had Ted Cord, and then obviously, you know, the new incarnation of, of uh, Blue Beetle. So there's been multiple which the, Blue Beetles. Which, which is the one Peacemaker has connections with. And yes. And the movie's based on. Yes. He's not. Ted Cord is not the one. It's, it's Jamie Reyes, right? It's Jamie Reyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jamie Reyes, he has more of a sort of mentor friend relationship with as of recently. Yes. Yes. As, you see, as I have the Wikipedia here, I scrolled it down for Peacemaker, the comics, comic version of Peacemaker. So he does a. Yeah. Peacemaker Blue Beetle. Um, yes, he has a connection with um, Jamie Reyes and the Reach. Mm -hmm. And that's because yes, everything here. If you, I'm I'm not gonna read the whole thing because it's a bit a long thing. But I yeah. suggest if you want to know more on this, guys, the the theories about what Brian Braille is saying, I suggest you check out Wikipedia. Even though yeah, even though it's Wikipedia, but it has Wikipedia for the most part it is I would say is accurate. Mm -hmm. Like, I know people give Wikipedia, like, a hard time, but, like, like Wikipedia is pretty accurate, though. Like, accurate. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I agree with him. I agree. I think this is the worst heading. I think, um, and let's not forget, the only thing that Chris's father, Peacemaker's father, is, is actually true, that his father is a white supremacist. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing true. His father's dead, not the right dragon, and his father does haunt him as, a, like, a ghost, um... Peacemaker, the thing is, Peacemaker the comics is actually mentally ill. Mm -hmm. This John C. John C.S. Peacemaker, I don't, you couldn't say he's mentally ill. It's just as an ideology, his um, it's it's warped differently than than his comic counterpart because his counter counterpart is actually mentally ill because he does see his, his father's ghosts and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, uh, everything here makes sense. I yes, the scarabs is that's the scarabs that connects to Jane is what makes Jamie um the new um. 
into uh, Blue Beetle because yeah, he has mm-hmm. no connection to Ted Cord. If Ted Cord is not the Blue Beetle they're going with, they're going with the more modern Blue Beetle because Ted Cord is. I don't know if they brought him back in the comics. Y- yes, they recently brought back Ted Cord, which uh, a lot of people didn't know. I-, I only figured this out recently, so um, yeah. Yeah, but they're gonna. But I think it's. I think they're going in the right direction with them. Um, um, but we Ray. do know. We do know that Ted Cord uh, or Cord Industries is going to be involved with the the new Blue Beetle movie because if you've seen the concept art, you could see you know Cord Industries in the background. Yes, yes. Uh, so maybe that, maybe Ted Cord is the first Blue Beetle, and then Jamie Mays becomes the next Blue Beetle, and mm-hmm. and but yeah, that's the connection because um, the, the, the same creator Charleston Heston, and then DC Comics bought. Bought them, Blue Beetle and Peacemaker's properties, IPs. Um, any James Gunn's like to take these small characters and likes to build them up, mm-hmm. and likes to build them up. And Peacemaker of um, of the characters of Suicide Squad, like it's the one characters a lot of people didn't know. I mean, like they got like Ratcatcher, Kite Man, but I knew about Ratcatcher a little bit. In the, Cause he's a bat. She well, actually, Matt yeah. Catcher's a male Batman villain. Kai Man, people kind of no, not po- Pokeball, no, Pokeball Man. People kind of knew. Lot yeah, of, from the animated series. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people in the in the that kind of knew who the. But Peacemaker is the. And because I, I think Peacemaker is a lot to Peacemaker in that show, where he, um, <sighs> where he can learn and become a better, man, be the opposite of his father and. And yes, I def- this is definitely leading to Blue, Blue Beetle. I think this is. I think I'm. I'm on that train, and I know the, you were the first to kind of seen it, like mm-hmm. seeing uh, where it's heading. Um. I then I saw then I saw this little. As, then I start search Peacemaker on on the, on the Wikipedia, and I'm like, yeah, it makes sense now. James, I don't know. James Gunn is working on a DC project. It's not gonna be Blue Beetle. I don't know what it is. It could be. And then a Peacemaker season two. I don't know. I think we'll get a Peacemaker season two, but whatever this project, new project is, it's uh, with um, what's his name? He's in The Boys, and he's in uh, Supernatural. I forget the actor's name. Jason Eccles. Yes. Yeah. He's he's in um, he's in uh, says he's he has a DC project coming up. It's mm-hmm. not going to be Red Hood, unless it's a no. voice acting yeah. role because it's too old for Red Hood. <laughs> I think yes, guys, yeah. <laughs> but yes, I don't know what DC. I think the rumor is it might be Hell Jordan. I don't know. Mm, uh, I don't think so, just because, um, I mean, we have the Green Lantern series. I think this is going to be a very niche, obscure character. That's kind of my guess. But, yeah. I mean, it's pretty hard to predict. I mean, I would love to see maybe an Animal Man series i think that would fit really well with james gunn it's very kind of wacky and mm-hmm. you know it's kind of fitting with what we're getting from dc right for with doom patrol and peacemaker so i mean i would love yeah. to see an animal man series so yeah i guess i guess right now that'd be the i guess is that a pretty good little video here i mean i think mm-hmm. it went 10 minutes um even though it says eight minutes on the live stuff it's usually longer yeah but, yes I want to thank you for coming on. And, uh, yeah, yeah, no this problem. Is a, this, this is Blue Beetle. This is Jamie Reyes. And that's the Scarab. And the Scarab's on the back, as you can see. Like yes. Yeah. And, and um, yes, and um, yes, thank you for coming on once again. I, I, and I said a minute ago. Um, mm-hmm. You know what? Like, share, subscribe. Um, follow me on you know, my YouTube channel. Um, to, you know, I'm doing stuff for Thursday. I don't know yet. Um, Follow Blah and Beyond is Twitter. Um, you, you could pimp out your Twitter. If you yeah, want. so my Twitter is uh, Blinded Braille, what you see on screen. Um, it's for, I just pretty much rant and talk about movies and comics and games, so it's fun. And yes, and and uh, and Mon- uh, Friday, not Monday, Friday, I will have Looking Back Episode 2. We're going to go over Schumacher. And it's an open panel this time with Schumacher Batman Films. And... Saturday, Peacemaker episode five, spoiler review. Make sure to watch the episode if you want to be on my panel. I mean, I know it sounds like a, I sound like a jerk, but I kind of want people like to, to, to come and discuss the episode. And 
talking about in the panel. You know, like I want them to know, so we can discuss it. You know, mm -hmm. you know, I, yeah, you understand. Like I, I'm yeah. sure people will understand. I mean, I don't want to sound like an asshole, but um, if you don't care, I'll stay in the comments, guys. I'm sorry. But episode <laughs> five, the Peacemaker, yes, um, Saturday. Remember, Peacemaker episode five will will be shown on HBO Max, or if like me and Blind Bill in Canada, on, on HBO here, or Crave TV Thursday. Mm -hmm. So yes, like, share, subscribe, comment below, and um, take care, guys. Um, yeah, thank you. Peace.